In this video, we will learn how to create this amazing fragment photo effect using Photoshop CC 2017. This work will be done using Photoshop Actions. Basically this effect is called a destructive fragment effect. It will be super fun so let's jump in Photoshop. Welcome back everyone. My name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we will create this amazing fragment effect and which is pretty much simple and fast. So before we start let me just show you how it will be look like. So I have just changed the dimension of this image so uh, well first we will create selection around this after creating selection will the effect final look the final look of our effect will be this look like uh, little glasses and some dispersion in that so I hope you like this so let's just close this you don't need it anymore and first of all when you start anything you for Photoshop actions or which I am providing actions for these the requirements are your image should be high resolution so this image is pretty much high because it has the uh, resolution of 5420 pixels by 4544 pixels so it is a 4k image and having very very high resolution quality and the resolution is 240 so it will be 300 pixels or maybe 72 pixels per inch it's not uh, important but this is the thing is that your image should be high resolution so I don't, I'm not saying that it should be 4k but at least it should be 2k by 1k like uh, 2500 pixels by 1600 pixels so it will work more fine on that and you will not having any error so I'm using Photoshop CC 2017 for this particular work you can see that the version 2017 and uh, pretty much amazing so before we start uh, it should be in RGB look at this uh, RGB color so um, it means that red green and blue or true colors we can say that okay start so we'll create a new layer and we'll call this layer as brush brush all the name will be in lowercase keep in mind that or otherwise your action file will not work and that's why name should be the name is important to start the basic work of your Photoshop actions and now we will create a selection around this character I really like this image because it is this is why I like this because it is very very HD so we'll create a select a quick selection tool and we'll click uh, select our background color uh, background layer and we will create a selection around it okay so after creating selection around it okay nice don't worry about that if it is just selecting random sides it will automatically uh, snap them on actual area so look at this it's done so alt key and maybe it is having some extra areas nice everything is done very nicely except this side so cool okay so we have created a selection around this character now we'll select a brush layer and we'll select any foreground color like green color red color blue color any type of color you like so we'll select a green color it's not important so you can select any of them press alt plus backspace to fill it with your foreground color and you will see that it will filled with uh, foreground color or you can go to edit fill and you can change it to foreground color and it will fill it with foreground color so now press ctrl D to deselect this selection now it's time to load brushes and other settings which are or we can see that other materials so we could start our work so go to edit preset preset manager from this preset manager we will select our brush 
and click on load so when you will download your file let me just show you where our fragment so when you will download your file you will see that there are uh, this will be file and there are one brush file and other folders maybe I can say that there are different versions for uh, of actions for different versions of Photoshop and this is the texture file which is important uh, which will be used in our actions so let's just start uh, we'll go to the navigator file uh, this folder to your folder where you downloaded these actions and when you extract that there will be you can see that a lots of folders and if one brush file so we'll select this fragment brushes click on load and you can see that I have already loaded them so I don't need to load it again and I'll click on done now it's time to load actions if you are not seeing this uh, play button in the side panel you just need to go to windows and click on actions so it will be visible on this side okay so now it's time to load actions so go to this uh, side uh, we can say that uh, sidebar and click on load actions and now it's time to select choose your version of actions so if you are using photoshop cs6 you will use cs6 folder file and if you are using cs5 then you will choose cs5 and if you are choosing choosing cs using cs4 you can choose cs4 as well so i am using photoshop cc latest version so we will use photoshop cc plus and click on uh, fragment and click on load so i have already loaded them look at this drop down and you will see that there are two subfolders which are called fragment and oil finish so the oil finish will work only in cs6 and because it will use oil paint finish uh, oil paint effect so which is not in maybe in older versions of cs4 and cs5 so that's why but we will use cs uh, yeah, fragment effect which is main effect and select any type of layer maybe background or brush it's it doesn't matter so click on fragment and click on this play button and wait for the process to complete its work look at this uh, now the a message will comes up it is called uh, it, will, it is saying that in that in the next step select the fragment texture dot jpg file that was included in the download so uh, it is saying that after you have selected the texture simply move scale it over your subject and then press enter from your keyboard so we'll click on continue and when you will download your uh, fragment file there is a texture file which will be look like this image and uh, we'll use it as a texture so we'll click and select this texture file and click on place so now it's time to place this uh, after placing this you will see that these border areas are empty so we'll press alt shift and click on outside so it will fill this with sides like uh, like this okay so now only time uh, you only need to do is just click on this check mark and after clicking check mark other steps will be work automatically start so you don't need to play this action so just need to click on check mark and it will start its work or we can see that continue it works where it is stopped okay so click on check mark and wait for the process to complete its work Okay, so the process is completed now and you can see that it comes up with amazing output let's just close this panel 
press control alt and select this arrow to close these all groups at once now click on this and you will see that there are lots of settings you can even edit anything uh, in that like this is I think an overall effect uh, maybe it's just uh, for side effects okay uh, so turn this off you can see that the Photoshop is pretty much slow because this image is very very HD so let's just take a look photo lines so these are lines maybe whatever this is called so that's the final effect uh, you can edit colors there are different type of colors in that let me just open these color options so there we are so this is uh, one color turn this off select the second one and then turn off select the third one there are different type of colors so you can edit anything in that like uh, these colors these uh, we can say that uh, these brushed uh, we can say these particles this is amazing I really love this thing and uh, I hope you like this video and uh, <laughs> I'm using and and again and again so don't be so angry on that uh, okay so I hope you like this video make sure to subscribe my channel to get every single update of my videos and these actions are totally premium uh, if someone is familiar with these actions he knows it's well uh, these values of uh, he knows the values of uh, these actions and I hope you like this video too and uh, kindly make sure that you are uh, listening the tutorial completely because uh, uh, when you follow these instructions completely as mentioned in the video you will never get any type of error so I will create a, I will record a separate video for uh, error, det error detection in uh, any can say that actions so or we can say that if you are facing some errors I will create a video on that and uh, we will be to our next video make sure to give this video a thumbs up and uh, you can download these actions uh, the link is given in the description bar go to my blog and you can download them so I hope you like this video uh, we will meet in our next video again never stop and keep learning